What is going on fish tank people? Welcome back to Aqua Malik. Today's video is going to be really exciting. We're going to be doing a fish room tour of uh, somebody in Europe. His name is Elias and he is a pistol killer fish on YouTube. So watch till the end. You don't want to miss out on all the cool fish he has in his fish room. For a young person, he has an amazing collection of fish and some really cool fish as well as a lot of peco fries. So watch till the end and comment below and say thank you Elias for recording this video for us. Uh, and uh, also if you are new here subscribe hit that notification and consider joining the channel as a channel member and help out the channel that way if you can as always thank you so much for your continued support let's get into this video and watch these amazing fish Produced by Malik. Hello Malik and your follower. Now I want to show you my fish tanks in my room. Um, I will start to show you the killifish. In this tank you can see Notopantius Rahovi Baira 98. They are still relatively young and not ready to breed now. But as you can see I have two males and many females. In the second tank you can see Notopantius vergatus. These fish breed, uh, lay their eggs in this um, peat. It's an annual killifish uh, which lives in Eastern Africa. In the next tank you can see some uh, little growouts. And again a uh, vergatus tank. In this 50 liter tank you can see um, also a little killifish, uh, those are very shy and uh, spook away if I put the lights on but I try that you can see the colors. It's, it's also a Notopantius, uh, it's called Notopantius derhami and it lives also in Africa. It's a very uh, easy tank with only some less plants and a an, uh, stand-up filter. It's enough for them, the only thing they need is space to go away from dominant males or uh, and enough food. Now we come to a tank which I like most, I think. There you can see a little corridor trilineators and some guppies just chilling around and there they did the fish for the L236 for the hypercistress. Next to him is hanging around another L236 but uh, only a young and small one. On top is another one that you can see a little bit. And uh, some more of the corridors trillionators. They are very nice. Yes, I'm focusing on this tank to uh, to reproduce some L236. Also on this tank uh, you can see a little extra uh, tank on top, which is for the little for the little fry uh, from the corridors, as you can see here, or some more over here, just chilling around. And uh, we also have some L. 333 in here just growing out but I'm not sure if we can find them they are all chilling under these leaves there you can see one here in the next tank you can see a little uh, grower tank for some plecos under this plate there are some uh, king tiger plecos which are growing uh, very nice, but they are still not uh, big enough. Uh, they are around two centimeter now. Uh, on the next tank, you can see another killifish species. Those are also still very young, and also from from Africa. Most of my tanks are all only filtered with a um, sponge filter to have a little bit airflow. Um, 
just to break the surface. Here you can see the second crawl tank for the King Tiger Black House. At the bottom in the big tank you can see my biggest crawl outs. They are around uh, 3 cm now and enjoying some Evo food and uh, Dr. Vasilia, as Malik told us. Uh, on top is uh, another extra tank um, where I have some younger grow outs in. Beside the other grow out, you can see my L144 uh, tank, uh, the Snow White on Cistrus. There's my female, which produced over 50 or 60 uh, little fry, as you can see there in the back. Uh, everywhere in the tank uh, are some small babies, and there's the father fish. You can see another one. Often they uh, breed in this or uh, own, they only breed in this uh, water spike and on top I have some more guppies which are working as a uh, as a ditter fish. In this tank you can see my uh, adult group of king tiger placos or I have one uh, breeding pair. Um, there you can see the male back there. Uh, it's, a, it's a white line and on top I have some smaller king tiger placos which are at the yellow line from the yellow line uh, which are also growing out very nice and uh, they're reaching breeding size in some months um, in this tank there are also uh, some guppies as titterfish and some uh, rare corridors uh, here we are talking about corridors with money as you can see there this is my big male and besides him is the big female I think she's waiting for the next spawn I think they will spawn uh, soon yes he's very pretty I love him uh, I rescaped this tank some uh, weeks ago and I really like the new design. At the end of this video I want to show you my L236 tank again and how they are eating now. I really hope you enjoyed the video and uh, leave a like and subscribe the channel for Malik. It helps him really out. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you are new here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification icon so you do not miss out on these cool videos as well as many other cool content coming through this channel to you. And thank you Elias for making this amazing video for us and showing us off your amazing fish. If you guys have a fish room and you want to show it off through this channel, consider making a video and sending it to me so I can actually make a, a edited video of your fish room and show what you guys have going on in your houses through the channel. Thank you so much for continued love and support. I will see you on the next one. I love you all. God bless you.